here we are. Uh, it's been a while since I last filmed anything, but I've got some serious progress that's happened. So, anyways, I've got everything, everything here. Crankshaft, studs, uh, oil pump drive, pulley, bolts, crank, girdle, rods, crank, pistons. And what we have, what's all done now is the oil groove in the block has been completed. Took a while, took like a couple of months, but got it for a box of beers. So, uh, box of beers. And yeah, I'll just show you what they look like. So, I'm just going to drop all the assembly off and take it to an engineering shop in Dunedin. But that's a critical part right there in the oil oil starvation department. So once you groove the main journals, um, you won't have the issue anymore. So I'm pretty stoked. The other one didn't get done. Uh, all I wanted was to take that stud out that I snapped in there. They're going to use a special carbide tip. So I'm going to take all the bits down now and we'll see what happens. So, we have the Trink Trigger Kit from EFI Solutions here. I've assembled it and I also modelled it on SolidWorks because I'm going to make my own variation of it. I also picked up some ARP flywheel bolts, the part number, if you've ever, these are actually for a Ford. Same thing, exactly the same thing. Um, yeah, I don't know any of the specs on these, but they're pretty good. So we're just outside uh, ENS, and they are going to uh, balance this assembly. So what I'm going to do now is record that. So we'll uh, we'll go inside. So at the moment, I am just at ENS, and this is the block. It's had the uh, the bores, um, the that had been line bored, not line honed. So it's got, you know, it's all concentric through there now, or all straight. It's all done. And you can see the annular grooves. Got all the studs and shit. It's all ready to be balanced. My crankshaft on the balancing machine here. It's all ready to go. So we're at ENS right now, we got it all set up. It's in the, uh, the balancing machine, ready to go. So we'll just wait for Patrick to come over and he'll help spin it up. Here we got the flywheel. That's my XD one. And the ARP flywheel bolt. <laughs> yeah. The initial ramping measures fine. Ramps up to 800 RPMs plus 750. waves and that's where it's going. See how the, the arrow, see how the arrows were nice and steady. where they remove the material off the crank.
it's okay, it's not too far out. We had a major problem, it doesn't ramp, they don't ramp up. See, we're probably only a couple of grams out. It might actually be alright. There you go. 1.7 grams at 250 degrees. There we turn up. 250. Such a small amount, you just, just grind it. and your gauge just tells you how much you're out. If it moves fuck all, <laughs> and it is, we're right. Yeah. So it'll go to green lights now. Beautiful. So now, that flywheel's made it to that crankshaft, so it can only go in the one place you've got to mark it. Yeah. Hopefully. Doesn't it have the pin on it? That only goes one way? Oh. No. Oh, okay. No, no doubt on this one. This go anyway? Uh, there's a line over here, that blue line. That blue line? Yeah, and then there should be a... That one? I think that's it, yeah. There we go. Ramping. Checking. Come on briefly, it's not too far out. Up it goes. RPMs there, 730 something, and we're not far out. Four grams, so it'll be same as the flywheel, so it's fuck all, which is great. There you go, five grams at 88 degrees. All right, I'll go back depending where it is, either grind or drill a hole. 